Srinivasan, okay, uh, together with me is uh, Wali Chow, ESCO for local government, and also Ramakrishnan, um, a very active uh, social activist and part of civil society, not just in China, but also in Malaysia, and a former president of Arirat. I think we all know uh, Ramakrishnan, Mr. Ramakrishnan. Okay, the Penang State Government has no choice but to take the Federal Government and the Elections Commission to Federal Court to compel the restoration of the third book and local government elections in Penang. Basically for Penang Municipal Council, FPVP, and several Pride Municipal Council. Restoring the third book has long been the fundamental demand and commitment of the Penang State Government since this election in 2008. The state government takes the position that local government elections are a state matter under the nice schedule of the federal constitution. The state legislature has jurisdiction to provide for the holding of local elections under the ninth schedule and Article 113, subsection 4 of the federal constitution. In May 2012, the Penang State Legislative Assembly passed the local government elections Penang Island and Province Wellesley in Netland 2012, which provides for the Election Commission to conduct local government elections in Penang. The state government has informed the Election Commission that the enactment would come into force in Penang by 31st January 2013. However, the state government has failed to obtain any commitment from the Elections Commission to conduct the elections to MPSPP and MPSP in accordance with the state enactment. In line with its commitment to restore the third vote, the state government has now instructed its lawyers to apply to the federal court for leave to seek declarations that Section 15 of the Local Government Act 1976 a federal law elected by the federal government and parliament, which purported to abolish local government elections throughout Malaysia, is invalid or inoperative in Penang, and that the 2012 enactment passed by the Penang State Legislative Assembly validly provides for the Election Commission to conduct local government elections in Penang. The state government will be joined in this suit by Mr. P. Ramakrishnan, a Malaysian citizen, a registered voter, that has voted in both state and federal elections since 1964, and a former president of Aliran who would like to vote in the local government election. The state government has instructed that necessary applications be filed within the next two weeks. The Penang State Government will together with Mr. Ramakrishnan be the two plaintiffs in this historic suit against the Federal Government and the Elections Commission in the Federal Court. And friends, Penang Lights won the third vote to be restored. We won to reclaim our democracy. It is incongruous that we can elect our federal and state leaders, but we don't have the same right to elect our local leaders. This is an absurd situation that cannot be accepted in all good conscience. Professor Andrew Hardy yesterday observed at a forum in Kuala Lumpur, and I quote, Malaysia is unique among democratic countries around the world, for it does not elect local councillors, unquote. Why should that be so? There is no valid reason or justification for prohibiting the election of local councillors. If I'm not mistaken, I think the annual budgets of the Penang councils are far greater than the budget of the Penang state government. Ratepayers will contribute this huge sum to the coffers of the council, have a right to hold councillors accountable for their performance and the manner in which the affairs of the council are conducted. This can only be exercised through the election of the local government. Councillors should not be accountable 
to the sorry councillors should be accountable to the rate payers and should not be beholden to their patrons this patronage system should give way to participatory democracy which allows for election of councillors elected councillors will tend to be more responsible and conscious in their duties fully knowing that if they don't measure up to the expectations of the rate payers they will get the boot <coughs> thus there will be a conscientious effort to perform well and be prudent in the monetary management barista national and the election commission should not be a stumbling block in our endeavor to restore the local council elections thank you